Davis, Andy Townsend inside the Olympic Stadium in Kiev, the largest of the Euro 2012 venues, originally built in 1923, but unrecognisable now from the old Red Stadium. It holds 70,000 and is a luxury facility. Two good sides on view here, Spain versus Italy. These two met in the uh, quarter-finals of the uh, last uh, European Championships four years ago. It went to penalties. Cesc Fabregas got the winning spot kick for the Spanish. Hey, I remember a World Cup quarter-final between the two back in 1994. I think it was in Boston, Clive. Italy won with two Roberto Baggio goals. Ball's got out of play. It's corner to Spain. Headed out of danger. So alert to see that and get to it. Always prompting and probing. It's a clear chance. He's having a go. Xabi Alonso caught offside. Marquisio. Oh, look at this! Just had to pick the right pass there. Need some luck from there. Important to retain possession. It'll take more than that to beat him. He'll need to do better than that from so far out. Make the most of possession. Do you know who scored the most goals at the European finals? None other than Michel Platini, the UEFA president. Oh, what a player, Clive. What a brilliant player Platini was. Referee's blown. Now, is that a bookable offence? I'll have to come up with something better than that. promise about this attack oh look at this for a chance couldn't get through real chance Xabi Alonso. They've lost the ball here. Intercepted coolly by Andres Iniesta. Giovinco. Opted to play it back to the keeper. Alvaro Arbeloa. Fabregas. allow the Italians the advantage. Scores 2-0. This is Pirlo. 
De Rossi. Balotelli. A little cut off and lost possession. Got to look after the ball better than that. Will he cross? One of the defending. Who will get to the ball first. No problem for the defender. Sergio Ramos is pass picked off. Alert defending, that could have been dangerous. Here he comes. Just got the ball away. Promising. And a play for a goal kick. Alvaro Arbeloa. He's gone right through. Fabric just wide of the target. Well, the way he's been going today, we'd expect him to score from there. He'd be desperately disappointed he now hasn't got number three. Hello, Telly. I think how many uh, stoppages we've had in the half. Uh, there are going to be two extra minutes. Sergio Busquets. That's speculative. You need confidence in yourself to try your luck from that far out. Uh, it's smacked to desperation, though. Referee has blown, we are at the halfway stage, so it's 